Good evening and welcome to the State Road 40 widening public meeting. My name is Kathy Enot and I am the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to present the plans to widen the segment of State Road 40 and receive your input. There are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to questions and comments in writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrow points to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click on the file name to download the materials. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to carolyn.fitzwilliam at dot.state.fl.us. You may also call 386-943-5215. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or by email at melissa at fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or by email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to give a project overview, present the department's updated recommended improvements, and information about how to get involved. The department wants to hear from the community about the proposed changes being presented tonight. This project is located in Marion County on State Road 40. The project begins just east of County Road 314A and ends at Southeast 183rd Avenue Road, also known as Levy Hammock Road, extending 2.65 miles in length. The Financial Project ID, or FPID number, for this project is 410674-4. This project is one of three adjacent segments along State Road 40 that are recommended to be widened from two to four lanes. The purpose of this project is to enhance safety and improve operations along the corridor. Currently, the project corridor is a two-lane roadway with access to residential properties on both sides of the road, with restaurants and public facilities along the corridor. There are no pedestrian facilities present within the project limits. A Project Development and Environment, or PD&E, study to evaluate the feasibility and impacts of widening the road was approved in April 2013. 
On February 23, 2023, a public meeting was held to present the design concept to the public to obtain input. Feedback received during the public meeting included support for widening State Road 40 with the addition of bicycle and pedestrian facilities, concerns about the ability to make left turns or U-turns along the corridor, desire for reduced speed limits, and concerns about environmental impacts and an increase in noise levels. We have heard your concerns and, where possible, have implemented the input we received during the public meeting into the design plans being presented here tonight. This project proposes to widen this segment of State Road 40 from two to four lanes. In addition to widening, proposed improvements include directional medians to allow left turns throughout the corridor and repaving the roadway to extend its lifespan. Roadway shoulders will be widened on both the inside and outside of the roadway. Swales and stormwater ponds will be integrated to collect stormwater runoff. Pedestrian improvements will include a sidewalk on the north side of the roadway and a shared use path on the south side of the roadway to accommodate both pedestrians and bicyclists. The improvements for this project are represented by four typical sections. Typical Section 1 is classified as an urban typical section and extends along State Road 40 from the beginning project limit east of County Road 314A to east of Southeast 170th Avenue. This typical section includes two 11 to 12 foot wide travel lanes in each direction of the roadway, separated by a 22 foot wide rest median. There is a six-foot-wide sidewalk on the north side of the roadway and a ten-foot-wide sidewalk on the south side of the roadway. A seven-foot-wide bike lane is also included on the north side of the roadway. The total right-of-way for this typical section varies with a minimum of 132 feet. Typical Section 2 transitions to a rural typical section and extends along State Road 40 from east of Southeast 170th Avenue to Southeast 179th Avenue. This typical section also includes two 11 to 12 foot wide travel lanes in each direction of the roadway. There is a 24 foot wide sod median, eight foot wide inside shoulders and 10 foot wide outside shoulders on both sides of the roadway. There is a six-foot wide sidewalk on the north side of the roadway and a 12-foot wide shared use path on the south side of the roadway. The total right-of-way for this typical section is 192 feet. Typical Section 3 extends along State Road 40 from Southeast 179th Avenue to east of the project limit at Southeast 183rd Avenue Road or Levy Hammock Road. This typical section includes two 11 to 12 foot wide travel lanes in each direction of the roadway. There is a 24 foot wide sod median, eight foot wide inside shoulders, and 10 foot wide outside shoulders on both sides of the roadway. There is a 12 foot wide shared use path on the south side of the roadway. The total right of way for this typical section is 192 feet. Typical Section 4 is classified as a suburban typical section and extends east of the project limit from Southeast 185th Court to Southeast 185th Terrace. There are two 12-foot wide travel lanes, one in each direction, with a 10-foot wide outside shoulder on both sides of the roadway. The total right-of-way for this typical section varies between 100 feet and 132 feet. Median openings will be provided throughout the corridor to allow left turns. The purpose of these improvements is to improve operations and enhance safety. Safety can be enhanced through access management by limiting the number of conflict points at a given intersection. Conflict points are places where two vehicles could cross paths and potentially collide. Adding medians along the corridor and providing directional median openings reduces conflict points. Reducing conflict points helps decrease the frequency and severity of crashes, thus increasing safety for motorists. 
an environmental analysis was conducted to determine anticipated impacts to wetland and surface waters and protected species along the corridor. The proposed improvements are anticipated to have 0.85 acres of direct wetland impacts, 0.54 acres of secondary wetland impacts, and no impacts to surface waters. Mitigation will be provided throughout the design and construction process to offset wetland impacts. There are no anticipated impacts to protected species along the corridor. The project team has held ongoing coordination with the United States Fish and Wildlife Services and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. Stormwater ponds will be provided to collect stormwater runoff. The design phase of this project is anticipated to be completed in spring 2025. Right-of-way acquisition and construction phases are currently not funded. The total estimated construction cost is $12.6 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 8, 2024, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com slash project slash 410674-4. You may also contact FDOT project manager Kathleen Enot directly by email at kathleen.enot at dot dot state dot fl dot us or by u.s mail at the florida department of transportation 719 south woodland boulevard mail station 542 deland florida 32720 you may also call kathleen enot at 386-943-5149 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours the contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 410674-4 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by March 8, 2024. Have a good evening.